This can only end in good. Hey, Eva. Come to my office. I've got something. Neil, where are you? The meeting started an hour ago. What? Oh, no. Oh, sweetheart, why? <laughs> Wait. There's no meeting today. Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Twice in one day. Really? Besides, it's actually dangerous. What if it hits my head without tipping over? But you still made it hit my head. That's different. Yours is pretty thick. Well, I still got you once. Excuse me for giving you a chance to even the scores. But seriously, drop by. I actually do have something to show you. Just give me a few first. You gonna say hi to them at the party downstairs? Maybe later. Grab me a drink if you go. Yeah, I know how to play this game. I'm not doing that. Um, oh, this is my office. Oh, wait, hang on. I haven't actually done an intro. Hello, everybody. My name is Toongal90. Welcome back to another game. Another episode. Definitely another game of the same series of To the Moon. But regardless, this is the Sigmund Corp Holiday Special. This is like a mini episode. This actually, I think, bullet goes between it's after To the Moon, but before a bird story. So it's a mini episode. And I'm playing it out of order because I wasn't aware this was actually a mini episode to go with the main story. But I thought, hey, why not? I'll play it and horribly mess up the timeline because fuck if I know what to actually do with this. So, aw, oh, Neil. Yay. Roxanne. And then this must be Rob. Oh, wait, hang on. There's someone over here. Logan Boswell? Do we know a Logan? Doesn't sound familiar. Oh, there's more. Oh, look at all these offices. Willis McMillan. Oh. Liza. Lisa? Li Lisa. Blah. Vas Vasquez? Vasquez? Oh, jeez. Eddie Dolan! Tia. Tia McMillan? Okay. <laughs> Dr. Washroom? <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's funny as hell. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Wait, hang on. What was over here? This was an actual name, wasn't it? Yeah, Logan Boswell. Hey, I can't go to that one. Okay, so that one's, just a, that one's an actual office. Oh, this is my office. This is nice. Nice and neat. I have windows. Oh, that's awesome. The office that I actually work at, um... There is a door that leaves the outside that's full of glass, but I can't see outside because it's like not in front of my desk. So I had nothing to stare at but a lovely wall. It's great. I love seeing white. Uh oh. What? I just remembered. Could you also give me some cake with that drink? How do you know there'd be cake? There's always cake and I want it. Well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. Hey, so which is it? Neil? I'm thinking! Look, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Okay, that was weird. Oh, hi, Roxanne. Oh, hey, Eva. Roxy, you alright? Huh? Oh, well, we went outside to get something from the car and... Well, you know. Them again, huh? Well, it is that time of the year. Look, don't tell the others, okay? I don't want everyone to be all tensed up about it. Maybe it'll be all be clear by the time everyone leaves. I hope so. Come on, let's go see what the others are up to. Mm-hmm. You can tell me to use the mouse. I'm not doing that. I'm doing mouse and... I'm doing keyboard. Not doing a mouse. Mouse is stupid. I hate it. Oh, this is not- Who is in the smock? Or the- the- What do you call that? Poncho? That is so cute. I'm not really sure what to do here, Eva. Since we have a full house today, Eddie was allowed to drink, but now he won't stop talking. Maybe you just need someone to listen. Yeah, that's what I fear the most. Oh, you are so adorable! You don't bugs me, Lisa. 
You can alter memories, yet I can neither make my hair as buoyant as Logan's nor as silky as yours. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Nice hat. <laughs> Eva, my dear! Good afternoon, Tima. You know, you never responded to that email I sent you about my nephew. I attached a photo of him and everything. Uh, thanks, but I'm just not looking. Oh. It's that boy, Neil, isn't it? What? No! I like to keep my personal and professional life separate. Wow, then just about one more reason why my nephew is perfect for you. You two are going to be so happy together. Oh, boy. Oh, Eva, run. Flee. Hey, Eva. Hey, how did that last mission go? I heard you guys ran into some complications. It was fine. Bureaucracy just got in the way. But I'm trying to forget about work now. That's enough of that to go around later. Tiama... Tia, Tiama, I feel like I'm, destroy, I'm destroying that name. I probably am. In fact, I know I am. And I are discussing your taste in early Baroque paintings. They're all good. Yes, yes, they are. Wonderful. Hey, Willis. Looks like Logan's pulling a move on your girl over there. Wait, what? <laughs> Psh, she ain't going anywhere. Well, I don't know, Willis. Logan does sing like an angel. I do? Yeah, Willis, and I heard he's an exquisite dancer, too. I am? <laughs> I got three strands of hair left on my head, and you told one of them is willing to fight him in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, this is getting too weird for me. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look, I know it's hard not to think about it, but worrying about worrying doesn't fix anything. I know, but... What was your last patient's wish? Huh? Oh, well, she wished to see the world. And did she? Yeah, we took her all over. I even caught glimpses of places I haven't even been to. She was so happy. It sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for her. Hmm. You talked to a lot of people, Roxy. I'm sure if they could speak to you, they'd all tell you. What's out there right now doesn't change that. I guess so. I do feel better thinking of that. Thanks, Eva. It's the holidays. Don't let it ruin your mood. Mm-hmm. So, my guess is outside there are protesters who don't like Sigma Incorporation because, like we've kind of seen in, um... Um... I just finished play Finding Paradise. A lot of people don't agree with what we do here. Which, I guess, to a certain degree, I understand, because you're, in essence, wiping out someone's memories and replacing them with something brand new. And if you're a loved one or, like, a relation, like a family member or something like that, and you're fearful that you're going to be basically forgotten by the person you spent maybe your entire life with, that's kind of disturbing. So, I, I, I get... I get why they're angry, but I mean, at the same time, for God's sakes, it's in their will that they want this. They paid for it. Like, calm the hell down. I'm just walking around right now. Am I supposed to be doing something? What's this? I can't tell. Look at the tree! <laughs> Everyone's in a festive mood, never mind the fact it's July. Neil? You didn't say anything, buddy. Pardon me, gotta take a sip of my coffee. If for anyone questions, it's decaf, so I'm fine. I will not be up for hours on end. I'll just be up for about a half of hour, half an hour. Neil? Line's busy. What? Okay. I have no idea. Oh! Good try, but there's no water bucket this time. Is everything okay? You seem distracted. What? Yeah, that's all good. I'm fine. Anyways, I'm just about wrapping this up. I'll call you when it's done, Eva. Okay, back to work. He has, he has some illness. I know they're hinting towards that with a lot of different things. But I just don't know what he has, or what he's trying to accomplish. He's so weird. I guess back in here. No one miss me? Uh, a 
just have this feeling of crunchy snow near your feet. It's like popping bubble wraps with your foot. Can't wait for the next big snowfall. That's an interesting way to look at it. Okay. Oh, hi, Rob. I'll get out of your way so you can talk. Don't go out right now, Eva. I know, Roxy told me. Those persistent buggers. Looks like they're here to, they're there to, to stay. Can't we call the cops? Oh. Hello? Yeah? It's ready, Eva. Come up come over when you can. Don't tell the others, Eva. Maybe they'll just disperse. I know. Fingers crossed. Neil, you never answered my question. Do you want cake or wine? Or drink or whatever? Oh, my nose itches. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh. Oh, that was a bad one, too. Jesus. Okay, I guess Neil gets nothing. He never answered my question, so he gets zip instead of one. It's his fault. He should have told me what he wanted. All right, Neil. What you got? I swear to God, if you dump another water bucket on me, I s I'm not gonna be happy. Shut the door. Uh, why? Because I'm supposed to be using this computer for work, remember? If Rob saw, he'd be like, slacking off again, Neil. Durr. <laughs> she doesn't close the door. What is that? Here, have my seat. Really? You're not going to say anything about the door? Hi. Remember that? Please tell me you followed it yourself. I know there were hundreds of them. Besides, it's not like Lily and the kids have any use for them anyhow. And what good is it to you? Jumpstarting your memory, for one. Now, launch the program. I don't know if I want to. Aw, oh, come on. I worked hard, I worked hard on it. Ooh, to the moon. A game by... <laughs> what the hell? What? Ta-da! This is just plain disrespectful. Hey now, video games are an art form. They passed the law decades... <laughs> they passed the laws decade decades ago. Yep, yeah, this might make them revoke it. Sticks and stones, Eva. You haven't even played it yet. Go on, try it. Okay. What the hell? Okay. What in the world? It's a lighthouse! <laughs> Is that you? Oh my god, that's funny as hell. <laughs> Looks familiar? <laughs> Neil, you gigantic ass. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god! What? 
I'm actually like super concentrating right now. Okay, where does she go? So confusing. Ah, okay. Ooh. This is not what I was expecting. Ah, oh, yes, the uh, roadkill. I forgot about that. Ah! Oh! Oh boy. There's so there's so many things. Oh. Ah. Oh boy. make games like this when I was your age. There are so many people here! <laughs> what the? Oh, how cute! Is that floating head character you, Neil? How long have you guys been standing there? Seems like you've been slacking off again. Man, I told you he'd say that. Get out of my office, you guys! This is my private space. Shoo! Shoo! Isn't that old gentleman like your boss? Isn't that like a bad thing to say to him? See, Eva? This is exactly what happens when you leave the door open. I might as well go stretch my legs. Just realized you didn't get me a drink. You can keep playing though. Hey! You walked over the cabinet. You could have easily just have seen the door was not all the way closed. So, you know, you're also partially to blame. Oh, I'm gonna keep playing apparently. Oh, they switch sides. Got it. Didn't I see? Yeah, there they are. Jump? Uh-uh. I'm not doing that. Ah! Well. Fuck. Ah! Ah! God, that's so scary. 
Ah! Ah! Fuck. Ah, I should be fine. Ah, yeah. no, get in there. Ah. Game. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, are we going to the moon? Ah! Oh, oh, we went to the moon. Oh, oh, that's so cute. God, not a boss. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh no! I. Yep. Did I lose? What happened there? Hey, Eva, did you... We're not even going to be curious about the, uh, the game? Is she in her office? Oh, Eva! No? Why is there a parking block in her office? What is that? That's weird. Is she in the bathroom? So glad Neil is so slow. This is just thrilling. Eva? No. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Uh, there we go. I feel better now. Where the heck should she go? You'd think if Neil they would cross paths at least. I mean he just came from the elevator, I would assume. And then you're all like, feel my hair, feel it. Man, I'm never drinking more than a shot of beer again. Ugh, sorry about earlier. Uh, what happened earlier? You weren't there? Good, at least someone didn't see. How late in the day is it? Or you were playing some game in your office again, huh? Rumors, clearly. Where'd the others go? Wilson and Tammy left for home, but I don't really know where Robert went. I'm surprised nobody here got called today. It's nice to have a peaceful gathering. Eh, we've already delayed the party because Lisa and Eddie, Eddie got called in last week. And you still didn't come down to mingle with us. Tisk tisk. Sorry, I guess. Psst, Neil. Hi. Are you looking for Eva? Yeah, how do you know? I just saw her down the hall looking upset. Wait, why is that assumed to be my fault? Well... When I look at your face, I get the feeling that, you, that you'd that piss me off a lot if you were my partner. But I mean that in the nicest way. In what way could that possibly be nice? Never mind. Look, thanks for the info. I'll go check upstairs. So she's upstairs? By the way, his office is not very big. I'm just now realizing this. Wait, no. He said upstairs, right? Let me check. No, okay, that's not the continuation of the hall. Never mind, I had to be sure. I had to check. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me push the button first. Sorry, forgot. Need to do things before I can use them. Oops. Oh, this is not the same hallway that I thought we were going to be going to. Eva? 
This is a conference room? Hey. Ooh. You didn't finish the game. I played enough of it. She is not happy. Don't tell me you're upset about the zomb zombivas. You made them yourself, don't you remember? It was clearly a joke, sheesh. I'd ask when you had been become so uptight, but you know. Get over here, Neil. Don't do it, man, she's gonna kill you. Are you gonna <laughs> Are you gonna punch me? <laughs> I've been practicing my Kara Khan would shun, you know. Okay, I'm telling you, my hands are like lightning. Even I can't contain my moves. Whoa. Records show up, huh? Roxy said they've been gathering since morning. That's quite some dedication for no pay. When I signed up for this job, I thought it'd be respectable, fulfilling dreams and all. But those who thank us are dead, and those who support us are dying. You might not like how I do things, but I do them for the patient's sake. And even more often than I'd like for yours to save your sorry ass from getting fired. Not good job with that, it's a feat. Do you think they're right? Huh? All those people out there, they're all standing for what they think is right. Gee, I sure hope not. But hey, everybody has their beliefs. There are a lot of them. But don't forget that there are a lot of people with us too. Remember, Lily? The air is outspoken because those who are content really find the need to bother. But we have to remember that they're out there. And remember each patient once we visited. Remember how hard we tried and how, and how they left this world with a, simple, with a smile in that place of a frown. Sometimes that fleeting moment of shared happiness is all it takes to make it all worthwhile. Are you drunk, Neil? Hey, I'm just recycling Rob's BS here. Give me a break. But look, if you're going to ask me whether, whether what we do matters, I guess it does for the brief fraction of a second before they pass on. Is that enough for you? Sometimes I don't really know. How about you? Are you really happy doing this? Hey, I'm just happy that we're making a lot of dough. Don't know about you, but I'm totally ballin'. Oh, Jesus Christ, Neil. At the grocery store, I'm like, heck yeah! I'll shell out five cents for a plastic bag. Here's a quarter! That's how I roll. <laughs> you know... That game you made of it. It wasn't all terrible. I am listening. I mean, the graphics are at antique and the gameplay is a pushover, but uh... I'm surprised you still remember all that Johnny Ripper stuff. Yeah, sorry about the zombievas. But hey, you should have really played it till the end. All the zombievas rally together and become the hero to save the day. Really? Totally! And there's like fireworks and pom-poms on as all the Johnnies and Rivers chant your name. Huh. Guess I should go finish it then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not be hasty. The game's not going anywhere. You can finish it in a one... No. Two weeks. <laughs> Yellow? Thanks for the discount, but we're not looking for premium snow flying service right now. You should encode your number. They'll, they'll block most of the telemarketers. Just kidding. We're actually being drafted in by a patient in, in critical condition. Wait, what? Understood. We'll be right over. Are you serious? Yeah, come on. We can't afford to be late. You can't just joke around about those things. You're serious. Neil? That is a lot of people. Oh boy. Oh, 
and we're done. Hey, 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 I finished something in this series and I didn't cry. Yay for me, I should get an award for that. That's interesting because they make a good point. Um, and I kind of discussed it already kind of briefly, but it is the whole thing of their main job, main objective is to make someone's last wish fulfilled in any way possible. And as you can clearly tell, for them, it's not so much as making everyone outside of the patient's life happy. It's about making the patient themselves happy. They have a contract with the patient and not with the patient's family. So it would make sense as to why people who are not... Oh, hi. I've already played that, but thank you. It, it makes sense for people who are not the person passing on to be pissed. Because, like, here's the thing. If my mom, and she would never do this, but I'm just saying, I'm setting this up. If my mom contacted someone like Sigmund Corp and basically said, go to my memories, do anything you want, just make my dream come true. Or whatever my wish is. My fear would be she would have us be forgotten. My sister and I be forgotten. That would never happen. That's not even a feasible thing to have happen currently, even as an option. But if I'm playing the per the patient's daughter, which I would I would be, I would be terrified of the fact of it's like, oh, so she basically sees me and my, my sister and I as a mistake. That's not comforting. Um, and you're basically screwing with someone's memories and someone's mind and there's got to be some ethical code against that even if someone signs a contract saying yes this is okay like it it really depends on how much they're okay with it because you're you're ruining someone's memories you're messing with someone's mind and that's kind of a delicate thing even if the person's dying the only people who actually contract who actually know what's going on are the patients and then the two workers. And that's it. There's no one else to confirm saying, oh yeah, they totally did their job. Or, yeah, this is totally ethical. Or, oh, you know, yeah, we fulfilled their, their wish. But, oh, the family is all still here. It's it's a weird thing. Because um, I kind of think they're doing pretty good, like a pretty good job. Because obviously, like, with Johnny and River, they, you know, they, were, they still got married in the end. They still, you know, had kids. To, did they have kids? No, they didn't have kids. Why was I thinking they had kids? They got married and they lived in that big house by the lighthouse, just like River wanted when with, you know, Johnny's original memories. So they fulfilled their wish, that wish that way. Because Johnny still got to go to the moon, but River is still there. Uh, and then with, um, uh, uh, there's so many names going in my head right now. I can't think of his name. Uh, Shiza. Whoa, God, what is his name? Uh, 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 Colin. Ha, fuck. I got it. Uh, with Colin, we just handed over the reins to an imaginary friend. Basically, Colin's own mind and said, here, have fun. Take the reins. So we still technically fulfilled our obligation and Colin's life still remained the same. But it's still just that fear of if you're not the person either being treated or treating the patient... You gotta wonder what goes on in there. But that's that was fun. Wow, it's a half hour game and I didn't cry. Huzzah! Go me. Ow, my elbow. I just hit something. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching this first episode. I'll be playing the second one kind of shortly and get that up soon, I hope. But this episode, this chapter is over. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Junga90 and I hope to see you in the next one. Remember, my friends, stay animated. And have a good one, whatever it is.